So now we're going to talk about absolute versus relative URLs. And uh, we're keeping track of all of uh, what we're doing in a document. If you're finding this video online somewhere, you could uh, get to everything, all the resources at those URLs right there. And I don't know what happened to our other document. Oh, this is the document. And we're down at this part. And so it's uh, absolute versus relative URLs. Okay? Who knows what that is? Raise your hand. Who cares? Raise your hand. Cool. I'm glad you care. We got two people. And that's 031 absolute relative. Anybody remember the absolute? Anybody know about absolute vodka? It's an alcohol. Anybody remember the absolute vodka advertisements? No. They used to have funny advertisements. And it was all about things being absolute, like absolute this or absolute that. At the end of this video, maybe we'll see if we can find one of them. I'm going to link to my CSS. And there we go. And now, uh, I don't know if I needed CSS, actually. But I do need a couple more uh, pages. So I'm going to go down a level, create a directory, and this will be like members. And in members, I could like maybe have, you know, like an HTML page, which is user profile. It would be profile. And uh, here on profile, you know, we might also have one that's like, you know, uh, another page, which is what? What would the other page be? Profile, you know, like bank account, account, right? Your account stuff. I don't know. My phone sounds lovely, and then in here, from I'm I'm now on account. This is account, and H1 account, and then here I could link. How do I link? What kind of tag do I use? Even though I'm saying link, right? This is the link tag. It's for CSS. It has that rel attribute and the href attribute. I want the anchor tag, which also has the href attribute, and I want to link to profile so I just go profile.html I could have also done another link to profile and I could have done it like this All right, this is a relative URL. So relative to this page, in this same directory, there is a page called profile. This is an absolute URL. Absolute from the root of my website, go into the temp folder, go into 35 spring, right here's temp, there's 35 spring, like, cause that's the root of my website. Go into 31 absolute and look at this mess. Percent 20, percent 20. That's because I have spaces in there. So spaces are anathema. Like don't include them in web programming. Use dashes or underscores. Because now I could do it like this. All right, and that's much cleaner to look at. So that percent 20, percent 20 is the sign for space. So that's an absolute URL. Relative to where we're at, which is on the account page, we also have profile in that folder. Here's a relative link to index. Go up a level and index.html. So from where we're at in here, go up a level into there and choose index.html. Now this one's not going to work because I'm not actually running a web server website. It's just 
previewing this stuff from inside Gogland. But uh, that would work if I was doing such a thing. But that's an absolute URL versus a relative URL. Anybody have questions about it? What's up, Angel? from the root of the website. It's like a file path from the root of the website. It starts as a forward slash. You could also say this is an absolute too. That's absolute because I'm absolutely saying here's the resource, right? Specifying the exact location. Cool? Absolute versus relative URL.